With the release of Henkaku at the end of summer 2016, Sony's PlayStation Vita platform has seen an uptick in the attention drawn to it. From emulators to PC ports to full homebrew applications, the Vita did get something of a jumpstart to the activity of its community. However, since Sony has revoked the tokens used by firmware 3.6, we have lost the ability to use what was quite possibly the most nifty application the Vita has, PlayStation 4 Remote Play. PS4 Remote Play is similar to its predecessor on PS3 with two very major differences. Number one, PlayStation 4 Remote Play recognizes all the inputs on the Vita. PS3 Remote Play will only treat it like a PSP for input, so no second stick and no emulated shoulders or stick clicks via touchscreen or back touch. Two, because the feature is managed at the OS level and not by the developers, almost all games will be playable via Remote Play. However, with the recent release of Henkaku R7 and a corresponding update to Molecular Shell baked into R7, we now have access to Remote Play on our local network again. Let's get this back up and running again. Of course we need Henkaku running, so just make sure you have it on. Otherwise, visit the link in the description on your Vita or PlayStation TV browser. With that done, we need to spoof our firmware to the most recent version. Open up Molecular Shell. Now press Start or Options depending on if you're using a DualShock 3 or DualShock 4 controller. Change the spoofed version to the most recent Vita firmware. At the time of this video, that will be 3.63, but check Sony's PlayStation website for the most recent revision. Once set, close Molecular Shell and open PlayStation 4 Link. Open the settings menu and choose restore settings and select the restore option. Go back to the main screen in PS4 link and select next. You'll be prompted for a PSN login. Ignore this, you can't log in on 3.6 anyway. And it will pull up a pairing code. Now start up your PlayStation 4 and go to your remote play settings and select add device. The pairing code for the PS4 will appear. Simply enter this code on your Vita or PlayStation TV and the process will be complete. You now have LAN access to your PlayStation 4 via PS Vita once again. I hope this video has been very informative to you, and if you're using Henkaku or Taihen, I hope this lets you get one of the most useful functionalities on Vita back into functioning order. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.